25 degrees where I'm at here in Indiana. I have a 2002 Harley Softail Custom, and uh, I ride all year round, as long as there's not a crap ton of bad weather out there where it's just icy and rainy or uh, snow on the road, I'll go ride in the cold. Uh, I'm about ready to take a little ride and see if you want to come with me. spot I come out to to get away from every once in a while just get away from everything it's peaceful out here it's really pretty it's a it's an old cemetery seems a little creepy probably to some people but I come out here and just get away and some days when you're having a stressful day, it's nice to just go sit somewhere in peace. Nobody around. And uh, just kind of think about whatever's going on in your life and let it go. It's pretty out today. I like riding in the cold, and I always have. Um, people think I'm crazy because I come out in like 25 degrees. The coldest I rode in is minus 6. And uh, I love riding. It's just how I am. Hey guys, this is Punisher Prime 81 here on with the same video. Just doing a little, uh, uh, I don't know, little update on the motorcycle helmet um, in this video as well. Um, I took the little ride over the cemetery and just rode around for a little while as well. Um, but I just wanted to do a little update on this helmet that I've had for... Um, over a year now I think I did a video a while back I had some questions on it um, I had some oh I had some comments on there that were kind of just aggravating um, just because a certain person on there didn't agree with my choice of buying this helmet and that's okay that's their opinion uh, what I'm trying to get people to understand is this is my first helmet I've ever had I've always rode without a helmet um, I decided to wisen up a little bit, especially um, in the colder months. It's, you know, I I shave my head and I can wear a bandana or a hat or whatever, but when it's really cold, 
Um, I've always rode like that, and I just felt like getting a helmet to keep me warmer and safer too. If it's slick out and I end up crashing, you know, hopefully not. Uh, I'd rather have a helmet to protect me. Um, and I went with this helmet. It's it's the Harley Davidson Boom NO2 Audio helmet, and I like this helmet. Um, it's a smart helmet. You can mesh with up to 16 riders. That's your mesh button to uh, connect to other riders. It's your DOT approved. You've got ventilation, great ventilation here up at the top. Um, got it down at the bottom here. So you can get ventilation. It's well padded. It is a Harley Davidson, like I said. Um, I can sync it to my Bluetooth, obviously. Um, connects to your phone. I can play my music while I'm riding. And I can play, I can have GPS give me directions while I'm riding. It's really handy. Um, it's nice to have those, um, you know, options at hand. Um, so, me, I enjoy this helmet personally. Um, the only thing that I dislike about this helmet is I wish that it came with two visors, one being tinted and one being clear. Uh, obviously, you need one clear for night. Um, you need one tinted for day. I It comes with anti-fog insert lids here, as you see, and that does work well. It keeps it from fogging up. I, uh, I'm happy with that, but it's frustrating because if I ride in a day, I have to put sunglasses on underneath here, and when I do, it fogs up my sunglasses, so that's dangerous. So I have to be careful. So sometimes I'll crack this while I'm riding just to get more airflow in there to, to uh, unfog my glasses, which is annoying. So I've, I'll, I've actually ordered a tinted insert, um, but I think it'd be kind of stupid of me to have to take them in and out of here instead of just get a uh, another visor to put the tinted insert in so I can just pull it pin locked off there because right here you pull down on that and it should unlock that to pull out um but other than that i've had no complaints uh, it's a great helmet uh it's very nice it's comfortable make sure you measure yourself before you order because it's important you don't want to have this helmet wobbling around on your head while you're riding you want it to be secure um because it's very important. That way you're not riding and it wobbles and gets in the way of your vision while you're riding. Um, that's just a little quick update on the helmet. Uh, I've had questions over it. I've had a lot of views. And I, I definitely enjoy this helmet. But like I've said, this is the only helmet I've ever had. I haven't reviewed any others to judge them or you know have my opinion on them. I had one guy getting upset because... He flat out called me a fool for buying this helmet and anybody else that buys it because he says, well, it's $250 more than the Cena helmet. Well, okay, you know, that's, I didn't know that. I bought this a while back. It was a helmet I was looking at and I'm happy with it. And he's entitled to his opinion. I didn't feel like it was right to just go out and call people fools. Um, and I, I flat out told him in the comments, I said, hey, it's the only helmet I've had, only helmet I've reviewed. I'm not here coming at you, so I'd appreciate if you don't come at me that way. Um, all I'm saying is get your facts before you come at people. And that's how I feel about anything in life. Um, but other than that, I do like this helmet. I still recommend this helmet. Uh, the only thing, like I said, I do not like is Harley Davidson, please give people more than just a clear visor. They're spending, we're spending a lot of money on this helmet. And yeah, I do think it's high. It is high, but it is a smart helmet. Um, but if you're going to be spending $550 on a helmet, give them the extra visor. Give them, the tint, give them a tinted visor so they can change those out. Because people shouldn't have to spend extra money to have what they should have already on the helmet. And it's just like the motorcycles. I'm looking to buy a... 2019 Street Glide here sometime in the near future. And, you know, if you're going to spend $30,000 on a new motorcycle eventually, 
if that's what it ends up being and you don't have LED lights on it, I think that's kind of that's kind of garbage too. So give the people everything they need all together in one product instead of making them spend more. I know that's how you make more money, but that's how you lose customers too, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's my review on this helmet. I do like this helmet. I do approve this helmet. I am not sponsored by Harley in any way. So I do not own any rights to Harley Davidson. But I do like doing reviews. And I'm just giving my opinion on this helmet. And I really enjoy having it. So if that helps any of you out there. Uh, one guy did message me. How, does it, how, does, how do you ride in high speeds with this helmet? Um, I feel like me personally... Uh, it's not bad. I mean, you can be going 60 and feeling all right. I feel like if you're going any higher, you know, like 70s or so, yeah, you're going to feel some wind, especially if you're on a soft tail like me. You ain't got no windshield or anything like that. So it depends on what you're riding on, too. Like, if you got a street glide or electric glide or something that with a bat wing or shield in front, yeah, you're going to be uh, more, you know, wind resistant, obviously. But when you're on a soft tail and stuff going high speeds, you know, it ain't gonna matter if you got a helmet on or not. You're gonna feel the, you're gonna feel the wind on there, like wobbling around a little bit. You just gotta get used to it. Um, but it's not bad. It's doable, and I like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, just wanted to talk to you guys, make a short little video, and then update on this helmet as well. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more from Punisher Prime eighty one, hit the subscribe button, and eventually. Uh, if I end up buying a new motorcycle later on down the road, I want to do reviews on there and I want to do, uh, uh, you know, reviews on modifications if I get modifications on there. Um, uh, I love doing ball card reviews on my channel and whatever else. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye.